Cordinarius violaceus, commonly known as the violet webcap or violet cord, is a fungus in the webcap genus Cordinarius native across the northern hemisphere. The fruit bodies are dark purple mushrooms with caps up to 15 cm, 6 n, across, sporting gills underneath. The stalk measures 6 to 12 cm, 213 to 423 n, by 1 to 2 cm, 38 to 34 n, sometimes with a thicker base. The dark flesh has a smell reminiscent of cedar wood. Forming symbiotic, ectomycorrhizal, relationships with the roots of various plant species, Sea violaceus is found predominantly in conifer forests in North America and deciduous forests in Europe. Though they are edible, the appearance of these mushrooms is more distinctive than their taste. The species was first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1753 and has undergone several name changes. It is the type species of the genus Cortinarius, but is readily distinguished from other species in the genus by its dark coloration and distinct cystidia. There are some populations that seem to prefer deciduous trees and others that prefer pines, but no genetic divergence between the two has been found. When identified as taxonomically separate from the deciduous preferring populations, the pine preferring populations have been referred to either as a separate species, C. hersinicus, or as a subspecies, C. violaceus ssp hersinicus. Other populations once identified as C. violaceus or close to that species have now been described as new and separate species such as C. palatinus, C. neotropicus, C. altissimus, C. chyloensis and C. halobalensis. Agaricus violaceus was one of the few fungal species named by Carl Linnaeus in his 1753 work Species Plantarum. The specific epithet violaceus refers to the deep violet color of its cap. In English, it is commonly known as the violet webcap, or violet court. French naturalist Jean-Baptiste Lamarck viewed it as a variety, violaceus, of a variable species he described as Ammonita arraniosa in 1783, and Christian Hendrik Persoon placed it in the section Cortinaria of Agaricus in his 1801 work Synopsis Methodica Fungorum. Cortinarius was established as a genus by English botanist Samuel Frederick Gray in the first volume of his 1821 work A Natural Arrangement of British Plants, where the species was recorded as Cortinaria violacea. The violet curtain stool. The starting date of fungal taxonomy had been set as January 1, 1821, to coincide with the date of the works of the father of mycology, the Swedish naturalist Elias Magnus Fries, which meant the name Quartinarius violaceus required sanction by Fries, indicated in the name by a colon, to be considered valid. Thus, the species was written as Quartinarius violaceus, L. Father, Grave. However, a 1987 revision of the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature set the starting date at May 1, 1753, the date of publication of Linnaeus's species Plantarum. Hence, the name no longer requires the ratification of Fries's authority, and is thus written as Cordinarius violaceus, L. Gray. German botanist Friedrich Otto once she described the species as Inaloma violaceum in 1877. In 1891, his countryman Otto Kuntz published Revisio Gene Rum Plantarum, his response to what he perceived as a poor method in existing nomenclatural practice. He called the violet web cap Comfos violaceus in 1898. However, Kuntz's revisionary program was not accepted by the majority of biologists. Cortinarius violaceus was designated as the type species for the genus Cortinarius by Frederick Clements and Cornelius Lodshear in their 1931 work The Genera of Fungi. Mycologist David Aurora considers this odd, due to the mushroom's unusual color and cystidia. Because of this designation, if C. violaceus were to be split from the rest of the current genus, then, according to the rules of the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature, it would retain the name Cortinarius, while the other species would have to be reclassified. The species was one of only two placed in the Cortinarius subgenus Cortinarius by the Austrian mycologist Meinhard Moser. Molecular investigation of webcaps worldwide has increased this number to at least 12. A 2015 genetic study by evolutionary biologist Emma Harrower and colleagues of C. violaceus and its closest relatives suggests that the group, Section Cortinarius, originated in Australasia and began diverging from a common ancestor around 12 million years ago in the Miocene, with C. violaceus itself diverging from its closest relative around 3.9 million years ago. The fact that these species diverged relatively recently indicates that some form of dispersal must have taken place across large bodies of water. The original plant hosts were flowering plants, angiosperms, and C. violaceus or its direct ancestor developed a symbiotic relationship with pines, 
as well as multiple flowering plants, this may have facilitated its expansion across the northern hemisphere. Some mycologists classify C. violaceus as two distinct species Cortinarius violaceus and Cortinarius hersinicus, with hersinicus relating to the Hersinian forest region of southern Germany. These species are differentiated morphologically by the latter population's rounder spores. Persoon had described C. hersinicus as a separate species in 1794, though Fries regarded it as conspecific with C. violaceus. Moser separated them once again as species in 1967, and Norwegian biologist Tor Eric Brandra classified C. hersinicus as a subspecies of C. violaceus in 1983. However, Harrower and colleagues, on limited molecular testing, found no genetic or ecological difference between the two taxa. Some fungal populations around the world that have been classified as C. violaceus have been found to belong to separate lineages and hence reclassified as new species within section Cordinarius. Two separate lineages discovered in populations from Costa Rica have been renamed Cordinarius palatinus and C. neotropicus, one from Guyana described as SPF. Violaceus has become C. altissimus, and another from Western Australia in Tasmania described as both C. violaceus and SPF. Violaceus has become C. halolensis. Yet another from Eastern Australia has been named C. chyloensis. The poorly known species Cordinarius subcalyptrosporus and Cordinarius atrovialaceus from Borneo are almost indistinguishable from C. violaceus outside of hard to observe spore detail. The former has smaller spores with a detached perisporium, outer layer, and the latter has smaller spores and fruiting bodies. Another population, known from Borneo, New Guinea, and New Zealand, was ascribed to C. violaceus by Moser. It was noted as very similar to the original species concept of C. violaceus and awaits description as a new species after a phylogenetic study revealed it to represent a distinct taxon. Cortinarius violaceus has a convex, becoming broadly convex, unbonate or flat, cap of 3.5 to 15 cm, 138, 6 n, across with an incurved margin. In color, it is a dark violet to blue-black, and is covered in fine, downy scales. This layer on the cap is known as the pilipellus which is either classified as a trichoderm parallel hyphae running perpendicular to the surface and forming a layer 6 to 22 n wide or rarely an executus, a layer of gelatinized hyphae 2 to 11 n wide. The cap surface, unlike that of many other Cordinarius species, is neither sticky nor slimy, though it is occasionally greasy. The stipe, or stalk, is 6 to 12 cm, 213 to 423 in, tall, and 1 to 2 cm, 38 to 34 in, thick. Due to its swollen, bulbous nature, the base of the stipe can sometimes be as wide as 4 cm, 112 in. The stipe is a similar color to the cap, and covered in wool-like fibrils, purple mycelium can be present at the base. Younger specimens feature a veil, but this vanishes quickly. The flesh is violet, but darker below the pili pellis and in the stipe. The flesh has a mild taste, indistinctly reminiscent of cedar wood, with a slight, pleasant smell also reminiscent of cedar wood. The gills are dark violet, changing to a purplish brown with age. They have an adnate connection to the stipe, and can be very dark in older specimens. The mushroom stains red when in contact with potassium hydroxide, KOH. Fruit bodies identified as CV hersinicus are less robust than those of the nominate subspecies. The spore print is rust-colored, while the spores themselves measure 12 to 15 m by 7 to 8.5 m. They are rough from elliptical to almond-shaped, and covered in medium-sized warts. The spores are whiter in C. v. hersinicus. The species is the only one in the genus to have cystidia on both the faces and the edges of the gills. A large number of cystidia are present, and, individually, they measure between 60 and 100 m by between 12 and 25 m. They are flesk-shaped, with somewhat purple contents. Although there are many Cortinarius species with some degree of violet color, C. violaceus and its close relatives are easily distinguished by their much darker purple color. Cordinarius iodes of the southeastern United States has a slimy purple cap and paler violet stipe. The other species in the section Cordinarius are dark purple and superficially similar, but can be differentiated based on host and geography as they do not occur in the same locations as C. violaceus. Certain Leptonia species in northwestern North America, including L. carnea and L. nitroviolacea, have a similar color but are easily differentiated due to their pink spore print. Cordinarius violaceus is found across North America, Europe, and Asia. Although widespread, it is not common anywhere in Europe, 
and it is listed as endangered in the British Isles. Cordinarius violaceus is a rare component of subarctic areas of western Greenland. It has not been recorded from Iceland. In Europe, it grows in deciduous woodland during autumn, especially among oak, birch, and beech, but is also found on occasion with conifers. It is also occasionally known from treeless heathland, where it is associated with bracken. The species favors acidic soil. Cordinarius violaceus forms mycorrhizal associations with several species of tree. In this symbiotic relationship, the fungus gains carbon from the plant and supplies it with beneficial minerals. In Nordic countries, its hosts include white birch, Betula pubescens, silver birch, B. pindola, European aspen, Populus tremula, and rarely European beech, Fagus sylvatica. No records of association with oak, Quercus, are known from this region. Brandrod reported that what he described as species Hercinicus grew with Picea abes, generally in more alkaline soils and along with mosses of the genera Hylocomium and Pleurosium, and, in moister areas, big shaggy moss, Rhytidiadelphus triquetrus, as well as the buttercup family shrub Hepatica nobilis. The species grows with Betula pubescens in Greenland and is also associated with hazelnut, Corylus avalana, in Central and Southern Europe. In North America, C. violaceus favors conifers and, though rare over much of the continent, is relatively common in certain areas, including Mount Rainier National Park and Olympic National Park. It is more common in old-growth forest in the Pacific Northwest, though has sprung up in regrowth areas populated with fir, pine, aspen, and alder in the Great Lakes region. Fruit bodies occur singly or in small groups, often near rotting wood, and can grow in fairy rings. Closely related species that look like C. violaceus can be found in Central and South America, Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and Malaysia. Cordinarius violaceus mushrooms are considered edible, but they are not choice. Instead, the primary appeal of the species to mushroom hunters, according to Aurora, is its beauty. Its similarity to some other, inedible or toxic, wet caps renders it rusky to eat. The taste after cooking is reportedly bitter. The color of C. violaceus cannot be converted to a dye, unlike that of some other Cordinarius species such as C. sanguineus and C. semi-sanguineus. The color is caused by an elusive pigment that has been difficult to isolate. Its identity was not known until 1998. It is an iron, 3, complex of, R, dash 3, 4, dihydroxy beta phenylalanine, R, beta dopa. It dissolves in water, turning the liquid dark purple before fading to blackish gray. C. violaceous fruiting bodies contain around 100 times more iron than those of most other fungi. Cortinarius violaceus extract demonstrates an inhibitory activity against cysteine proteins. List of Cortinarius species